In today's video, we are talking sweatpants. If you guys are new to my channel, my channel focuses on a little bit of luxury. I like to do unboxing, fitness content, travel, lifestyle, fashion, and today's video is no different. I also like to focus on finding affordable luxury and affordable quality pieces. So if you like that sort of thing, you're in the right place. I love my subscribers. Welcome back welcome back i'm glad you guys decided to click on another one of my videos so let's get into the reason why you guys should be considering sweatpants okay i am a sweatpants girl i'm currently wearing sweatpants right now i really just love the comfortability of them and this video is good for you because it not only talks about you wearing sweatpants now but year-round sweatpants wearing okay and still looking chic and comfortable in them so I have five different looks for you guys and I'll kind of talk through each look and why I picked each one and that sort of thing. So let's get to it. So my first look, you guys, is a Champions, basically jogging tube. This is the only set that's actually a set that's put together um, that we're going to wear. You guys, if I say joggers or sweatpants, I'm using them interchangeably. They are the same thing. They give you the same kind of comfort. So I will be just exchanging them because some are technically joggers and others are sweatpants okay so let's just do that so i have it here with my lucky brand jacket right here you should see it styled up on the side and then i have a champion's outfit so this is just a v-neck zip and what makes this different or i would think more classy than just like a hoodie is because it gives you that like natural v it still looks very feminine which is why i like um, wearing this it needs to be ironed but we're gonna let it pass and then it has the matching uh, pants sweatpants that goes with it these are actually sweatpants joggers so they have like the little clothes bottom here and then I decided to add these wear these in the video when I style these two together with my I think I used my Gucci diagnosis bag so I Used it with this. I typically wouldn't wear a purse or anything like that when I wear joggers just because that's not my sort of thing. I'm not really like a purse person, but if I were to throw a purse on it, this is the purse. Casual, it goes with the hardware of the jacket, and so that's why I chose this purse. I also decided to pair this look with my Jimmy Choo's uh, diamond sneakers. I love these sneakers. Like, they are the cutest, okay? I've showed these in videos before, but they hurt. They hurt. So if you guys are considering these, know that they hurt. These were my Cinderella shoes because they were only in my size and I got them. I love them. However, I do not get enough wear out of them because of the fact that they hurt my feet. So if you guys have any solutions to that, let me know. But hopefully you should see me styling this up and let me know what you think, okay? This is my first time doing a video like this and I wanted to show you guys my style. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. This look, you guys, that I have is from Zara. This is actually an all Zara fit. I was not thinking about it when I planned this outfit together. However, it goes together. So um, basically, for outerwear, we're gonna have this Zara faux leather jacket. Anything that is available, I will link it down below. Um, I love this jacket. I got it in extra large, which is very true to my size. And Zara, I'm on the upper ends of things. I don't even play with no other sizes. It has an extra large or 2X. I add it to the cart because that's my size, okay? Okay. Except for these pants, these joggers, I did get in a large. But I love these joggers um, from Zara, so I'm gonna show you those. Let me take the jacket off. This jacket, though, by the way, will keep you warm. I mean, warm, warm. So you don't even need a coat. Sometimes in winter, I just wear this. So next we have the wrap top that I'm putting underneath. Um, it's gray, so it's all monochrome. A lot of my sweatpants looks are monochrome for the most part. I might top it with like some kind of color, but for the most part, I like to keep it classic. So for this look, it is no different. And then the joggers, which these are my favorite joggers of all time to get from Zara. I love them because of the bottom. So when you guys are considering joggers and things to use, always look at what bottoms, what fit works well for you. This fit works well for me and helps me still feel classy. So that's why I recommend if you're looking to like wear joggers, but like jazz them up or wear sweatpants and jazz them up, get the cut off like this, like a straight leg pair, because then you can wear them with anything they look more put together than like the scrunched up jogger bottom okay so that's what i would suggest and so with this item 
these two I style together. The wrap top kind of puts you together, gives you more of a girly look than just like a regular t-shirt with sweatpants. So that's why I suggest getting like a feminine top to like go with your joggers to make it look more put together and like not like I just woke up out of bed with my sweatpants on, which that's fine too, if that's the look you're going for. But if you wanna look a little bit more put together, think of pairing like a feminine top with your sweatpants. If I were to wear a bag, which I'm gonna say it again, I don't really wear bags. I would wear this Vani bag right here. So you should see that styled in the video, but I wore this Vani bag. Her bags are quality. It's a black owned business. I really love the purses that I own for her. I have two and they're reasonably priced. And out of all of the black owned handbags that I've purchased, her quality by far is the best, okay? Not gonna lie. I've ordered Telfar, Brandon Blackwood. Hers is the best. Hers is the best, I'm just saying. But, and I also style them with my Pumas, my little dirty Pumas, but I love these shoes. Um, I got these for like 20 some bucks at Nordstrom Rack. So definitely some to easily throw on. And I thought these would go good with the black in the moto jacket. So that is my second sweatpants look. Okay. So the next look that I got, it's pretty simple. I have some faux leather jogger sweatpants. Um, these actually do cinch at the bottom. And then I also have a cardigan that I got from H&M. The pants I got from Nordstrom Rack during the summertime and when I was in Chicago. So yeah, if I have a link of something similar, I'll put it down below. But I really just like the textures. I love playing with textures, especially in the winter time. So I paired these two together as a little jogger set. You should see that in the video. Then for my shoes, I got my Stuart Wiseman. These are the dirtiest things ever. I need to go through and clean all of my shoes. I actually have another pair of these that I was trying to get rid of, but I'm glad that I have them because I'm gonna replace them. I'm a little Stuart Wiseman gold sneakers. Just thought these two would look good and play off the colors together. And for a bag with this outfit, I paired it with my little pochette, which I would actually wear these together. I've actually worn this outfit style, just different jogger with my pochette bag, just because I like to not have to worry about my bags, which is why a lot of the bags you see featured will be crossbody or either a belt bag because I don't like to worry about carrying it or falling off or that sort of thing. So. That is the look for this one. And you guys should be seeing it styled already. Okay. Go back to mention one thing about the cardigan, because I'm going to mention it here, is I sized up. So always size up. If you want it to be like that oversized, effortless feel, always size up. So I did the same thing with this shirt. I would probably be an extra large and it would fit just fine, but I size up to a 2X. I would probably even go up a little bit higher i don't let the tags define my size or anything like that so if you see my closet you'll see a variety of sizes because people cut things differently or sometimes you want an oversized fit sometimes you want a tighter fit so it just really depends on the items but this is like my basic go-to summer lazy girl i have even worn this to work and still people's like oh you're cute so you know it doesn't really matter do what makes you happy i have this shirt from H&M and a 2X. And then I also have these jogger pants. I want to bring some color because sometimes people think I'm just all boring, all monochrome, but no, I do throw in some color. I have these orange Nike sweatpants. I love these sweatpants. These were actually the first ones I bought like this. And then once I found out this style worked for my body type, I got them in a couple of different colors. And every time I see them go on sale, I purchase them, okay? I need to buy some because they have a 10 pair. I'm gonna have to get those. I really love these and I will link them down below in the description box. So I styled these two together and then I wore them with my Crocs for the perfect comfort so you guys can be comfortable. I think a tip for me that makes my sweatpants feel more than just sweatpants is tucking them in, tucking my shirt into my sweatpants, pulling them up high-waisted. What do they say, high-waisted or not, baby? They're gonna be high-waisted. That's what any pants for me, okay? No low riders this year. So, um, I just have these little Crocs that I added my little additional things onto it and these, and it was a look. And like I said, I, this was like one of my go-to looks uh, last year. So my final look is more of a vacation-y kind of look to me. So I have like my linen shirt um, and then I have a bra. 
is my bra. Okay, I have a little green bra from H&M. I love linen. Linen just does it for me. This is like probably one of my most worn shirts. Every vacation it comes because I use it as a cover up for my swimsuit. Types of shirts just serve up so many looks because you can button them up, you can unbutton them, you can tie them. So that's why I really love button down shirts. You could have opted for like a cotton version instead of like a linen button down, but I like linen, just it feels more freeing. That's why I went with a linen. I have the same shirts, uh, sh the same pants, similar to those gray ones you've seen earlier from Zara. I have these in a size large, but I would definitely go up a size. I'm using a 12, 14, um, and I should have got an extra large in there. They're a little bit tight, but I really love the style of them. And when I was smaller, they fit right. Fed with my Gucci Princeton loafers, so I just added these to them just to give it more of a slick look. That way you guys you know you don't have to wear joggers with just tennis shoes. You can wear with them with heels, slides, mules, whatever works for you guys. Whatever you think looks good, even boots, okay? Because my style is more casual, you guys will see that more often. I tried to go for looks that I would really wear that are easy to put together, things you already might have in your closet and that sort of thing. So you guys, if you stayed this long and you like the looks, let me know which was your favorite, okay? I think my favorite is the simple white t-shirt and my orange bottoms just because that was just my go-to look. Like, that was like, all right, I'm serving it, but I ain't. I used to get numbers in that outfit and everything, you know? And I was simple. Yeah, but anyways. So I want to thank you guys for watching my video. If you like the content that you've seen so far, be sure to like it. Let me know in the comments box below which outfit you enjoyed the most. If you want to catch me in between time, follow me over there on Instagram at TonyJanae underscore. There I post a lot of different videos and content that you might enjoy. So follow me over there. Subscribe here. Do all that good stuff. Comment. I want to thank you guys for watching because you could have been anywhere else, but you decided to be here and i appreciate that i hope you guys have a good night good morning a good evening whenever you're choosing to watch this video and you guys before you go watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys on the next one bye